Oh, you just you just left the cat on the back. Wow. Oh, I I tweeted it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a surprise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you meant to tell me, tell me where things are secret. Oh, that's right. Obsidian Mist wanted us to do the belt. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do the belt. I think Hybrid V team might be waiting for us as well. Okay, sure. So let's just see so around. Let's just around the corner. Oh, Aiden overslept a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, don't worry. We will have it in VOD format. This road goes to the belt anyway, so this is a uh, hybrid VT's place. Maybe she I'm just parking wherever she damn well pleases. Pretty much. People can go round. <laughs> no, they can't. Yeah, they can. They totally could not have gone around that truck. It was literally in the middle of the road. <laughs> My goodness. There we are. It's hybrid Vita's place. Full of storages and, and cool things and Oh, um bathrooms. Marissa was saying that an admin could let us in, but it's not not a, a uh, priority. Bedrooms. You didn't need to work on anything. That's um, very kind of you though. Kitchen. And outside. <laughs> and upstairs. Oh my goodness. So much stuff. Hybrid VT is, uh, I believe, just doing mostly farming. I think possibly some other things. Possibly some. I've only swung by a couple of farmers in total. They've been, they, they've had quite awesome. Oh, let's we could go past Ham Ham's place then. Farming and road work. Okay. Right. Well, apparently, um, Sheila, do you want to head back to Marissa's? Since uh, yeah, while magic let's is just here. walk over there quickly. Yeah, and then while magic can let us in. Yeah, I'm outside the door. Oh, thank you so much for all of the subscriptions and support, chat. The Alchemvaur Paul, Inicia, and the Dudeness Twenty Four. Thank you very much for that tier two, there, mate. Thank you so so much. In fact, there's basement and everything down here. Very kind of you. I like it. Oh, and there's more basement. It's just like basement, and basement, had, and basement. I've had so many nine month subs this stream. It is kind of shocking. <laughs> My lord, so many Twitch babies. Bathroom. Ah, Up I'm stuck the in the bathroom. Pretty house. That's so pretty. No room for the research table. Demon works. If a new server gets started, I may well buy the game. To Giant build blade. a tower on top of a mountain. Oh, I wonder if I can see the community center from here. Ah, uh, no, I can't. That's a shame. But seriously, I gotta say that Ashla looked amazing. It was such a good design. I, I really did. I really did find the community center really. Really, I, like I, I think I, I, those sorts of like public buildings, people have put so much work into them. Yeah, and eco is the sort of game where if you put that work in, people will use it. Like there is a reason to use such buildings in eco. Whereas, you know, to, to certain degrees, games like Minecraft, you know, you've got you've got a center, you 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 build beautiful buildings in Minecraft, but there's not really a reason to use them as much. Um. They're just there to be pretty and to be looked at. Yeah. Um. Once you've seen them once, you you don't always come back a second time. Like you you drink it in with your eyes and you're like, my god, this is amazing. You did all of this work and it's fantastic. And I could never do this, but now I've seen it, and that memory is good for me. If I wanna if I wanna see it again, I'll I'll visit it in my mind. I don't need to actually go there. But in in games like this, like you build a community center, you build a place that has a function, and people will come back to have a look at it no, and, and to use it. And it's so so cool. And I, that's especially one of if the it's like I libraries, if, I would have loved it to have the community center, even if it was just a shack early on on spawn. If we if we have a fixed spawn again in the server, what I'd love to do is to build a, a the starts of a little community center on spawn. Yeah. Yeah. And then wow. you can put signs up and have all the rules of the server and what, what you know, you can... Things like 
please realize that if you drop your litter on the ground uh, using the delete the trash can thing it will drop it on the ground not just delete it I, 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 stuff like that stuff for newbies shit. tips yeah I'm leaving all the doors open because honestly with this lag if i stop yeah. to close every door i might be there for a very long time i'm terrible i just go through everything I'm, like opening doors i'm loving like how many life. little nooks and crannies there are here and you can just like slip through one door and into another it's actually fantastic but yeah to have a server of this size again would be a lot of a lot of prep work i'd probably get it um professionally hosted we probably put a lot of thought into how many people we were going to get in there um and the kind of modding requirements for that. Make mm. sure that we've got mods in very spread around time zones. Um, we actually did quite well for that though this time. To be fair, we did. We did have. Yeah, uh, I, I think I think for a lot. first go at a server like this, we've done very well. I don't think anyone was really expecting it to be as as visited as it was in the end. Oh, kitchen as well. This is gorgeous. This place is absolutely fantastic. I definitely think if you do another one where you're heavily streaming it, that a high collab setting with less um, less skill yes. game would be a better idea. Yeah. The smaller absolutely. ones. If there was one that was set up, say, that wasn't being streamed and was more unofficial. Um, and maybe was only going to have the sort of 20, 30 people on it, then that would be good for a medium collab. But anything that's being actively streamed needs to be high, I think. Yeah. And that's an interesting thing, because Els Warrior there saying that despite, well, we had issues with, with people bumping into each other all the time um, because of, of uh, and initially that is, you know, we had quite a few people who, who weren't uh, exactly thrilled to have neighbors. They specifically went far away to get away from people. But Elzori is saying there about having a smaller world um, because they feel the size of this world made pollution a non-issue. And I guess in a way, yeah. it kind of did. In, in, in a way, it, it did people mean People could that, sort of get away from other people and go yeah, into like, their like farm it miles away. didn't really affect anything. There's enough... There's enough plant life on this world there's enough world where the plants weren't interrupted because of urbanization that the world could deal with quite a large volume of air pollution and generally speaking the ground pollution spreads in such a way that if you're just on the other side of the planet it's not going to have a practical effect it'll make that area like actively hostile to plant life but if there are no farms there if if it's not a a rare biome where where the flora and fauna are going to be really missed, it's not a big issue, I guess. All right, I shall hop in the car, and uh, we've got another battle on stream that it's going to take care of. Ooh. So I shall be right back. I will take us to the Belt Road, and then we will start driving down it once you come back. Okay, awesome. drive straight down the middle of the road, unlike Avak, who tries to drive on the right-hand side. Oh, it's faster in the middle. Actually, that is a thing. Um, oh, I yeah, I haven't gone over to Novodal Village yet, so we'll, we'll go around the Belt Road, and then we'll go and visit you and Ham Ham, maybe. I'm going to do a full loop around the Belt Road. We can maybe do a full loop around the Belt Road all the way round to this section here and then go up to Ham Ham's place, Leafin's place. Maybe we'll get out at Leafin's place and just run round to Ham Ham's quickly. Then go up to Nobo Dow Village. Then we'll drive across Skybridge and go see my quarry, which is not very good yet, but we'll go and see it anyway. And in that in that time, anybody else that wants a visit, just let us know. And that'll be a nice little server tour, I think. It's going to be impossible to go and see everybody because there are just look look how many places there are. And Kits doesn't want us to go see him because he is in his crater, you know. No one's allowed on there. They've got to stay off his lawn, right? So. 
That's right, Kitsy. You don't want us visiting you, do you? That would mean people would be coming to the crater. I like your. I was at your place the other day, Ham Ham, dude. I like it. It's looking very. Yeah, it's looking very um, industrialized now. It was. It started off as this little tiny farm shop, and now it's got all these massive stockpiles and things. <laughs> well, we'll definitely go down by Leafins because it's on the way to. Like we've got to go through Leafins on the way to Nobos. Oh no! What's happening to my truck? Ah! Wild? What happened to the truck? Avak's still in it. We gotta push it back over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice one. Thank you. <laughs> Wild magic super strong. She can push a truck over. It's the only game where like you you walk into a truck and it just goes. So I think we're maybe the wrong way around now, aren't we? We'll have to do a little 3.2. Yes. It's my fault for being for staying on the belt road. Clogging up the belt road. I wonder how their stream battle is going. Yeah, so that is my plan anyway, to just go all the way around the belt. All the way around the belt. And then um, head. We'll have a look at what Mediance is doing right now. And then we'll head, we'll basically head to, I, I, I could show you this section down here. It's, it's just basically a road. So I probably will miss this little section of road here out. So we'll go all the way around, up to this part, and then we'll go up. And we'll be able to see all the sights on the way. And as I say, I want to see what Mediance is up to over there. And then we'll go up here. Go see Leafin's place, go see Ham Ham's place, go see Nobodell's place. I think that's Gecko's place. And we will probably, I will probably end the stream After going to see my quarry, I think. We'll end the stream at my quarry. Uh, the road gets a little treacherous. <laughs> I will Hello. warn you. Hello, welcome back. I was just telling people what I think the plan is. The plan may change on the way, but... Okay. We have a basic plan. Um, Wild tipped our truck over. <laughs> wild tipped our truck over? Yeah, wild tipped our truck over. Wild. She literally ran, oh, no. she ran past and was so strong, she tipped the truck. I mean, I can believe it. Wild is, is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. this way. So we're going to go around oh, the belt road, um, but we're just going to go most of the way around. We're going to go to the junk, the next junction along to the right, but we're going to go all the way around to it, and then we're going to go up to the north. Yeah, the, uh, the little spot down below. What on earth is that up in the sky? Is that a bird really high up? What is that? What is that? Is that the meteor? What's left of it? I don't know. See if I can summon it. No, it it is. Oh no, it might not be. But... Oh, that's wild. <laughs> that's brilliant. I thought you I, meant the honestly, sun. I was looking at the sun, going like, "What do you mean?" I was. Really trying to work out what that was. It's like, uh, is that is There's that something in the sky and it was wild it was. flying. It was wild. Ah, uh, fantastic, fantastic. That was that was wild. Okay, let's go then. Round the world on the Belt Road. Shaq Alvarez, we did indeed destroy the meteor. We had a big old party and watched the lasers pew pew it out of the sky. 
So I'm guessing that the uh, the intention probably is to remove those bits of stone road on the side, and eventually mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down the middle because I'm a rebel. Um, <laughs> it's faster. It's faster road. I know, eventually it will get uh, replaced with asphalt, which is uh, 1.8 times speed modifier instead of 1.4. So if you know, if we go over here, you notice that the truck slows down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair really need to to emphasize how much work is involved in these mm. big community projects well, the see, belt road is is colossal the amount of work it's huge in like you saw how much um sky bridge replacement took yeah. the whole sky bridge re replacement that, that was like an entire that night of like streaming eight chill. hours and with like a whole bunch of people there's a sign here should yeah. we go read it borealis prospecting group to a uh, lot back the way we came north town bridge uh, I'm not actually sure what that's trying to say. For Casey uh, oh, maybe it's saying that fields. this is the North Town Bridge. Oh, that maybe. I, I'm not sure. And uh, the keys in Mark Fields. Cool. So someone's been along here, like put in signs on. That's really cool. Yeah, that is so really cool. But, yeah, these community there. projects are huge. Like the community centre, I imagine, was a vast yeah. investment. As well, the government buildings, huge projects, and in many cases, they they largely kind of um, managed by one person. Um, occasionally, you know, two or, or, or three, but they, they've, they're almost always a small team of people working on these things. And then the, the kind of wider community donates materials, and it's in a, I don't know, it just it honestly feels like a real community effort. Like it's so easy to say, oh yeah, it's a community project, but no, they they really are. You know, there's a lot of work goes into them. Are they speed bumps? They yeah. are fantastic wild. That is absolutely marvelous. That is absolutely marvelous. Where are we now? We are oh yeah, I see. That's cool. So we want to keep going this way, actually. I love that. But you but notice again, sometimes that uh, Wild one. replaces parts of the asphalt road with like um, pieces of mortared stone, which is one times multiplier mm -hmm. on the speed, and that has the same effect of, as a, a bit of a slowdown, a bit of a traffic management, uh, traffic calming measure. Right, 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 yeah. That makes sense. And just that, that fact alone that we need traffic calming measures is amazing. Let's just accept that. This, this, I'm so like blown away by all of the amazing stuff that the Dapplings have here. managed to build on this server. It is so, so awesome. Hey, May. May was Mavians. working on earlier. I, I... Yeah. A big, uh, a big brick structure. I'm not sure what it's going to be one day, but uh, it's quite a large structure. It's quite a lot of interesting materials there brick con uh, concrete it's actually really cool setting things up for t a t3 plus machinery ah, is that like cranes and stuff like that there's a what looks like a some sort of lighthouse over there but this this is this is absolutely wonderful so many many animals so many many uh fish stolen by this platform yes plucked from the water no, but down. Floating structures hurt my eyes. Look, I, I, I see. Well, if when you... I read what you say, you're not wrong, but also it is so much effort. If because... you want to go and put pillars on the entire belt road, be yeah. our guest. <laughs> really wild magic? Did you just Have do that fun. to my entire stream all at once? Oh my lord! Really? Really? It's okay when I do it. Chat deserves it when I do it. But they were innocents in this. My goodness, savagery. There I was, extolling the virtues of Dapper Chat, of the Dapperlings in general, what of all of the wonderful work they did, and then, then whoosh, wild magic, with straight up assassination. What did she do? My goodness. I can't repeat it. Because then I'd just, just be. That uh, shark comment? Uh, the, the bridge shark? Yep. Do, 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 do. <sighs> why, 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 why have you got to be? Why she have you got to join the dark up. side? She, she set me up. Why have you got to join the dark side, my lord? And we are gonna, <laughs> we are gonna take a north, a north turn here. 
That way is back to my house. This way is where we're gonna go. Okay. There's two Leafin's house. Yeah, the, the, the server has just been uh, amazing. And, and Eco makes it possible because, uh, again, touching back on some of the things that I've, I've mentioned before, there's a reason to do this stuff in Eco. You know, you're not just building to, to make a pretty thing, but there's no actual function to it. You, you, there is a function, and it's actually a, a, a much needed function. Hovering lights just begun. Um, and so it, it gives rise to community projects. It gives rise to people who build an entire company out of building roads. It gives rise to, to people who make, you know, a communal um, spaces like the community center and, uh, God, all of that. Leaf Leafin's place. Really He's trying to cover yeah. it up with asphalt, but, you know, didn't quite manage it. Yeah. Oh, asphalt, sorry. And uh, some sort of massive phallic wet tailing structure. I don't know what that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a but uh, probably okay. I know we run down term, here to not. Ham Ham's place as well. Oh yes, Ham Ham's place. Black DTs is down here as well. That's the big structure over there, I think. <laughs> I've I've just realised my chat. I, I, I redeeming demons brews and damper drinks for the Divinity Original Sin two stream later. They, they're trying to set up the the, the tone. For character creation, because obviously that's going to set the tone for everything that comes after it. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, I yeah. think. Yeah, I, I, I'm onto you now. I guys. think it looks to me like um, there's maybe some something going on with like fertilizer testing here. Ah. Is that maybe? What, is that what you're doing, cool. man? Are you testing different fertilizers and trying to find out which ones are, are best for growing trees? Yeah, it's the science field. This is the field where Ham Ham Dude grows all of their organic science. Marvellous. Yeah, Ham Ham has done a lot of stuff. Freshly if you grown, look at the sign over, over here, for example, um, done a lot of like experimenting and things on exactly what kind of fertilizers and things work well for um, to let the, the farmers know, timings and, and all sorts of things. I've been uh, watching the chat as they've been sort of saying what you know giving advice to other farmers and stuff like that it's been doing mm. a really good job the results of my science were collected into a chart is this the chart here the fertilizer nutrient oh, chart swear. actual percentage of nutrients added to soil so you can ignore the outdated wiki <laughs> i like it where is the chart i have it, lost chilab um, oh i see chilab is over here yes but uh balal is right. a very good point in chat there uh, Abba, can we give a shout out to Zangiri, even though he isn't here, mm. for dealing with all the hosting uh, of this game and all of the dappling servers? Unsung hero, indeed, Bilal. Zangiri has has hosted pretty much all of the dappling servers for as far back as I can remember, like ever, ever at least since uh, all of the game nights and that sort of thing. Yeah, he did a lot um, to that general power company as well. I believe he he went around oh, yeah. and connected everyone's houses up to it and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and it's not just just the stuff he's done on Eco, but in general, mm. like Zangiri has done enormous amounts of work on on just uh, hosting servers. And in some cases, though, he often hides this fact until much later. If uh, his personal servers weren't able to handle the load, he would just straight up like rent servers to keep the dappling service going. So yes, that was a very very good call there, Bilal. Thank you so much. Please tell me I've got quite a lot of chat, uh, of love in chat Little and chatting of love for Zangiri. Yes, indeed. I don't want to do too loud or I'll like bust your ears, but you know, mini round I know. There we go. He is a bit of a scallywag on the sly sometimes. Ooh. But only the best kind of scallywag. He's never a scoundrel. Okay, he's sometimes a scoundrel. I think everyone's sometimes a scoundrel. So no Not like that. Leafy push you into Leafy the water. is pretty much 80% scoundrel. 10% scallywag. 5% dappling. 5% coffee. Like ten minutes ago, I don't know what I said, but like apparently it prompted Tanoin to say, "Push Arak into the water." <laughs> you need nine. You naughty. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I, I really like the fact that they've set this up so that everyone can see this. Yeah, that's really really cool. Warning: fertilization mechanics are still being investigated and understood. 
buy at your own risk. Current advice, as of October the 15th, consult the agricultural chart of the wiki for which nutrients your crop eats. Fertilize your fields to have at least 50% of their desired nutrients. Sow seeds. Use soil sampler to check yield after 20 hours. The number is green, you're good. If it's yellow, add more fertilizer. Each crop has a different minimum requirement for their desired nutrients, which is much more than the amount they consume to grow. This is usually between 25% to 100%. Bear in mind, it may take 10 minutes to update the 5x5 chunk with fertilization. Crops will never yield max green numbers if moisture or temperature conditions are below 90%. I love the fact that they were, they were doing straight-up science. I think Ham Ham should be right in the wiki. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Oh, this is really cool. Really cool. I love this sort of stuff. I like loads of the building. Like, it's actually quite cool to just to swing by every now and then and, and, and see how the buildings have changed since the last time I was here. Right, Sheila, whereabouts are Back you? Back at the truck, waiting for you to finish looking. Coming over there. We're going to uh, well, head everyone's on Everyone's allowed a little bit of scallywaggery chat. If you don't have a little bit of scallywaggery, you get you get out, out of balance. Your humours go all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Head on down to Nogo Town to now. Oh, yeah. You are a uh, scallywaggery. Okay. I am a scallywaggery. How dare you? are a scallywaggery. Also, the lag is getting bad. Oof. It's all the tailings. It's making, you, it's making your brain go weird. That's, that's not actually yeah. lag. No, it's just, it's just the effect of living next to Leafin for too long. What kind of characters are you thinking of doing for Divinity? Even though I don't have the game, I always enjoy watching the absurdity that can happen in the game. Well, we'll discuss that when we switch over to Divinity, because it, that's a that's a conversation in and of itself. I already know but, what um, I want to do, but I'm not going to tell yeah, you. She'd yet. have had a pretty solid idea. I mean, we've got some plans. Could you stop for a moment, Sheila? Because we are, as far as I can see, floating in the void. Look! And we're beginning to catch up. Your name's up there. What? Once, once, once the nothing. void disappears, you'll see. Okay. I'm just gonna sit in here and let the let the horizon load, and then I'm gonna get out. Get maybe get out of the truck. No, no, it, it is loading. I'm watching it load, but I'm just. Sometimes it loads quicker if you get out of the truck. Oh, okay. Ashla exhibit. Is that right? Avac. What? That is uh, cool. What? <laughs> so your yeah. name's there. The oh, Ashlar no. exhibit's quite cool what? there because it's showing all the different like types of Ashlar that you can make things out of. Nobody else place it is looking really swanky now, though. Again, with the 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 community stuff, but look at the designs. Crop import, half baked goods, feed the world. Some really swanky open cook space. And we've also got a uh, little bit of a greenhouse. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Let's go over to the Ashlar exhibit, though. It's changed even since the last time I've been here. Baker Street. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Right. Yeah, green Geckos and stoneworks. Next right. Ashla exists. Exhibit custom parking only. So we've got all the ideas of the uh, different Ashla stones. They've got a composite lumber store here. Yeah, because it works. Barter offers accepted only. Major remodeling in progress. Watch your step. That would explain why uh, Gecko was always uh, asking me what I would like to trade for the various things. They they, they only do uh, they only do buttering. That that makes a lot more sense now. I was wondering if they 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 were just struggling to get a, a leg up in the uh, silver clover economy. I didn't realize it was a uh, it was an intentional like uh, a choice. Oh yeah, Gecko always has everything. Like Gecko always has. If you need road or anything, Gecko always has it. This place is awesome. Okay, 
wandering back now. There is so much going on in this world. 